Captain Flory Morals, I'm Philip Flory, Kit Review Time. Today we've got the special hobby 132nd scale. This is the G50 Freshia or Arrow. Okay, if you've never done the special hobby ones before, we have spoken about them, tend to be the sort of limited run kits. You get a few extra bits and pieces. We'll have a look as we go through. So there we go. This one's saying obviously it's the Luftwaffe Cro Croatian Air Force. Okay, usual bits and pieces on the box. Your kit number is SH32085. And as you can see, not too much round on the box, uh, but we've got the various bits there. So let's have a look in. Have to get into it. There we go. So as you can see, not too much going in on the box. Let's just have a quick look in here. So on your instructions, as I say, it's a little bit thin and flimsy. Parts call out, usual bits and pieces. You've got the actual, the aftermarket -y bits, the resin bits all down there. And then obviously all your cockpit areas, a little bit of photo etch. A couple of little clear parts and some film all right then you've actually got usual thing lots of photo etch bits going in here for the cockpit area and some of the little resin bits i imagine so putting the entire cockpit area together instrument panel obviously multi-layered a little bit more photo etch going down in there for uh, some of the smaller parts i think that's probably the trim wheel uh, for the gun sight Quick thing saying about aftermarket um, wheels as well, so CMK, to, uh, CMK even do a wheel for it. Internal details going in, which we'll have a look at as we go through. Two halves going together. Tail, which makes me think there's obviously a different version of this out there as well, or be coming along. Control surfaces, wings, uh, tail planes, things like that, all going on. I say, nice easy, one piece lower wing, two piece upper. Okay, and then moving into the engine. So it looks like we've got a solid resin engine with aftermarket type parts on there with photo etch and things like that. And it's also saying about some sprue, I should think. Making quite a nice detailed engine. Front spinner and prop system going on. Obviously the main gear going in. Uh, you've got the actual the guns for the top. Uh, a couple of other little aerials and uh, parts going in there. And then obviously uh, prop being fitted. Looks like you've got a choice of two with or without the spinner. And then that is it. So normal type of thing with the camo works, uh, working your way through and then you get three options, which is quite a nice touch. So itself, as we said, if you haven't done one of their kits before, don't be surprised when you end up with something like this. Looks pretty, you know, they always have a certain texture to them. It's quite rough. This is what a limited run kit is all about. Obviously, you don't get any locating pins, anything else like that to sort of aid your lineup. But sometimes it's better not to have them anyway. But generally, level of detail. Obviously, it's all recessed uh, riveting and panel lines. Can be a little bit more basic. But generally, the quality of the plastic isn't up onto our mainstream type of guys. Okay. But as you can see, if we go around and catch it, the various lights and the various bits down there, as you can see, got some quite nice details, some nice riveting on this top one. Nothing too much going on, but depending on the construction of the aircraft, it might not actually have it anyway. It's a nice look above the top of those cowls, looking quite nice and everything in. But as you can see on the inside, not a great deal going down there. It's a little bit softly molded and all those areas like that. Okay, eject pins, obviously they're raised, but I think all of those are out of the way and nowhere that would worry. Nice little touch, we have got no ejector pins inside the actual cowl itself, so that's quite nice if you wanted to display it open. And you have got relatively good detail, again, on the floor. So you've got some nice raised riveting detail, as well as the uh, recesses of the panel lines and things like that. Big old sprue. <clears throat> so we've actually got down here, you've got the wing section, you catch it in the light, you can see it's all recessed. Uh, and then obviously it's fabric on these lower areas. Uh, nicely textured in, nice detail. Okay, they're not exactly perfectly done, some of these access panels. They look to be a little bit uh, crude in some ways, but generally, if we catch it in the light, there we go. You can actually see they're all there. They will take a wash very nicely. They're very nice, they're very sharp, which is the nice thing. Wheel wells, all right, a little bit basic, very soft, but that's what we're talking about. And then on the upper surfaces, as you look at it, you can actually see most nice details, I'd say, but the entire thing has a real rough texture to it. Uh, again, there's no locating pins anywhere. You might want to just nip this one down a little bit, but all the ejector pins are down and out of the way. I don't think they're going to cause you any trouble at all. Then we've got two smaller sprues. So we've got the control surfaces and tailplanes down here. Again, pretty nice. Got a little bit of a sink in there, although I'm not sure. I presume that one is a little bit of a sink mark just in there. You catch it, you can see it. Uh, and generally the texturing is pretty 
nasty for want of a better word but nothing that wouldn't clean up i think if you give it a bit of a buff up with a polisher it should take control of this it's just that you have got if i just bring this top camera down you'll be able to see it better you've actually got here things like on this guy try and catch it in the light there we go you can see like a lump effect down here and obviously you've got this guy in here you can see them both stood up and down that's obviously a miss mold that's a bit of a miss mold there um, so you're probably going to have to do a little bit of sanding on that but this is what you're paying for at the end of the day it's a limited run kit which means you expect a little bit of clean up a little bit of extra work but nothing massive okay looking down again we've got some sink marks in the prop as you might be able to see and if we make our way slowly across the sprue you can see down here all the various areas the divots um, the actual uh, the weights for the control surfaces spinner it's very nice the wheels actually they're very nice considering it's offering you aftermarket ones those ones there aren't too bad at all we've got no ejector pin marks in the wheel wells uh, sorry the um, wheel doors themselves so that's quite nice although they are just a little bit basic okay so that's those then we've actually got all the goodies okay so this is the part where obviously limited run kit the kit itself is very basic but they add all the detail and all the nice bits uh, with aftermarket type areas although it does come with a kit so technically it's not an aftermarket it's just extra ways of doing it so we've got down here a different type of spinner if you compare it to the the kit part <clears throat> as you can see this one is a lot more detailed there's really nothing to that one nice done nicely cast nicely molded we've got the rear of the spinner as well just down there so that's very nice and you've got the pin all right so you have got an option on that one you've also got a very nice big bag of other bits so let me just go through here we've got here photo etch so this is your harnesses as you can see down there like that um, and some of the other smaller little details very nicely done actually that's a very nice piece of photo actually it's nicely detailed really good stuff okay you've also got then a very nice bag although if that's all in one bit still i'll be amazed so there we go this is the engine this is that resin one piece cast engine you can see very nicely detailed some great details molded into that for a one piece uh, all the way around with all the pot heads just like so so that's a very nice job on that one then you've actually got the pots themselves very nicely done some nice detail the veining is very nice very crisp okay so we're gonna get three of those all right four of those even okay then you've got the exhausts coming out molded on they're all in good shape it's amazing I thought they might have snapped off in the bag but they're very nice as well so you've got three of them uh, you got the I presume that's the manifold coming off the exhaust in one piece semi hollow obviously you could rebore that out and away you go no problem at all and then a couple of other areas looks like we've got that's the trim wheel i believe for the internal that goes with the photo etch that we saw earlier uh the little hud for the gun uh and everything else with the gun sight all right probably thinking maybe something to do with rudder pedals looks like the assembly for that one and we've got i presume the engine mount on the front there just like that that's the other one air scoop nice hollow molding all the way through so that's quite nicely detailed and we've got the guns as you can see some very nice and a couple of the other little areas as well some of the very small details on the end here so they're very nice and this guy and this is why i always say never lose anything we've got i presume it's a sight uh, on there just like that so that's pretty good and then we've also got the clear parts I'm thinking we have more clear parts. Was it an open top? Must have been. Sorry, I was looking for more, but that is it. That's your clear part. So you actually got down here, not brilliantly molded again. It's pretty, a little bit thick and foggy. You might be able to see it's not too clear there, showing on the camera with the reflection and that. But it looks like it is a little bit of an open top on here, which it is. So you've got a little bit of side work going on there, which I don't think is clear. No, it's not clear. <clears throat> so it's only the front bit and everything else like that. So decals, sometimes they can be a little bit crude. So usual thing, you've got the actual SWAT sticker broken up for obviously legal reasons. The iron crosses all seem to be very good. Nice color actually on the actual, uh, the check markings, uh, sorry, creation markings even, uh, down on there. So that's very nice. 
no problem with those at all as you can see they're relatively glossy stroke satin but there's no problem nice cleanly done so there we go as i said limited run kits probably not for the beginner you probably want to you know get to these when you've got a little bit of experience under your belt but it's nice that you get all these nice aftermarket bits and pieces with it in the box to take what is a basic kit and upgrade it into something a little bit special so there we go that is the special hobby 132nd g50